there's a Les Paul over there. I think another guitar or two over there. Yeah. So it's typical, yeah. you know, I, I think it's the same where you are. I don't know if I've seen that guitar. What is that? It looks like an ES-330 or something. That's a very cool guitar. I'll show you, wait, I have one more cool guitar to show you. This, oh yeah. It's a, it's a 345. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's supposed to be, it says Freddie King tribute, Freddie King there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like 1960 and it's stereo and that's a pain in the butt. The stereo. Okay. I think most of the time in the old times, if people had a stereo guitar, they went in and changed it because it's it's. Uh, how many times do you want to bring two amplifiers to a gig? And if you don't bring two amplifiers to a gig, you have to get some special cord or something, stereo jack to a mono output, but. Anyway, it's it's a really fun guitar. It has these, you know, uh, veritone, and some of the tones are really kind of crazy. Hello. Det är som en Carrie Stone. Hur länge har detta bandet funnits? 2014. Drog det igång. Det var det liten skara. Ja. Och jag var inte med. Ja, du var inte med. Var ni tio man direkt från början då? Det var väl fem kanske? Eller det var... Ja, vi var väl fyra va? Det var ju sex från början egentligen. Då vi spelade fram lite där. Ja. Mm. Ja. Sen uh, var det roligt att spela baktakt. Kom vi fram till. Vad händer här i afton då? Livestream. I kulturkvarteret Kvarnstad. Något helt nytt ju. Lyxrep, ja. nämnde du innan. Lyxrep. Här bak på scenen. Här bak på scenen. Och vi ska spela. Tio glada gossar. Schyssta lampor och grejer och bra ljud. Då får vi ge varandra, vi ger ju varandra energi när vi spelar också. Men det blir en helt annan utmaning nu när det är helt tyst efter låtarna. Mm. Ja. Absolut. Ja. Vi ska ge så mycket vi kan i alla fall. Vi måste fly från det hemska som kommer från skyn Vi fick syn på ett stall och kämpa oss dit Och tänkte att kommer vi snart till satt av ett Väl inne i stallet gick det stor för och instans Som mött oss med mörka stirrande blickar Det frågar för det plats, vi ska inte söra Det svarar nej, ni var bara en börda Häst mot folk, det äggar ut och stallar hon inte hemma Vi skömmer oss i en box På bara ett par kvadrat På väggen i boxen hängde en sko Formad som ett ut Jag tittar på min hand och tänkte För man själv är så man ska se ut vi ville inget annat än att komma överens Men det gick inte bra för de gillar inte oss Häst ur ett folkgrupp Det äggar ut och stalla har ni inte hemma Häst ur ett folkgrupp Man ska fylla vem man och hopa Häst ur ett folkgrupp Det äggar ut och stalla har ni inte hemma Häst ur ett folkgrupp Man ska fylla vem man och hopa
Du tror jag borde fråga Vi kan väl försöka hjälpa varandra Vi har händer, ni har hovar och elovar och svär Vi är inga bovar Vi behöver hjälpa på att prova skorna Inga problem, det ordnar jag Vi vill det här i harmoni Då tar oss för vad vi är Vi ser ut så här Ja, vi ser ut så här, vi ser ut så här Ja, vi ser ut så här, vi ser ut så här Ja, 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 vi ser ut så här Slutt ner på häst med folk ut Ni glädjer och pratar samma sak som sötta hata Slutt på häst med folk ut Låt oss höra innan som vi ett Länge lever häst for you. I'm gonna put it up on uh, the homepage halonen.be and it's me playing guitar and it's a backing track if you want to practice practice harp playing. If you get a harp uh, harp in A you can jam along with this video. We're gonna check it out right now. <coughs> Thank you. 
giant violin. It looks like something an elephant would play. It looks like if an elephant and a violin had a baby. Well, actually it's a double bass, also known as an upright bass, also known as a string bass, also known as a contra bass, also known as doghouse. So I guess I should show you guys how to play this thing. The first thing you should work on when starting on this instrument is to get a good sound. So if you just started playing this instrument and perhaps you played some electric bass before, it would feel pretty natural to put your hand like this and, and play like that, right? Like you would do on an electric bass, except that this is... Uh, vertical but you won't get a good sound like that that's not gonna make anybody happy and in particular yourself so what you need to do is take those fingers and point them more down towards the floor so that you get more meat on the strings and then it's also probably a good idea to put your hand towards the edge of the fingerboard here. The thumb just goes here on the opposite side and kind of anchors it down. And then you just pluck it. Like that. You can you use either finger? The idea is that you want to pluck it, you want to pull the string pretty hard so that you get a, a big sound out of the bass. And quickly you're gonna get into trouble. Your fingers are gonna start to protest, right? You're gonna get blisters. And that's just something that uh, you have to work through. So the blistering process, it, it goes through different stages. So it starts up with that, that you get blisters and they fill up so then you just have to stop and uh, wait uh, for them to go down again uh, and in my experience you don't pop them you want that fluid because I think the fluid actually helps to to uh, heal the skin underneath and make it stronger so don't pop them just wait for them to go down and then you start practicing again and then the blisters are gonna return and then you're gonna go down and you practice again and that's gonna go on for a while until they finally go down for good and you'll have very thick hard calluses here but those are probably gonna fall off and expose the skin underneath afterwards and then hopefully that skin is gonna be more tough and will uh, allow you to play hard and get a good tone so, for beginners, just stand around and, and play around. Pull the different strings. Get some big sounds. Like that. And then, you know, try to explore scales. And uh, play with recordings. Play your favorite bass lines. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hvad kommer der til at ske i næste afsnit? Måske vil David vise os sine whiskers. Viser Eirik Mund nogle flere bestrik?
Vi får i hvert fald et mundhappetip. Kig med på onsdag den 10. juni på HBSWR.